All right, good day, good people. Today I wanted to talk about NFTs, digital land, blockchain games, as well as another platform who was just awarded a U.S. patent. First and foremost, I'm not a financial advisor. Here on this channel, we just talk blockchain and crypto-related things and learn together. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. What is an NFT? How do they work and how do you acquire them? In simple terms, a non-fungible token, aka, is an exclusive digital asset. Accordingly, no non-fungible token is the same. Let us put it across like this. When we send one Bitcoin to a user and receive one Bitcoin, nothing changes for us. That is because each coin is the same and this makes it a fungible digital asset. An NFT is like a Mona Lisa by Leonardo da Vinci. It is a unique and that's what makes it valuable. There is no other painting like that in the world. Similarly, each NFT stores some form of metadata that makes it unique entry on the blockchain. That said, even the NFTs on similar blockchains are not interchangeable. How does a non-fungible token empower the owner? An NFT comes with a mechanism of storing rich metadata that is beyond the token symbol, supply, name, and balance. It stores the assets and ownership details too. Consequently, the owners and future buyers are assured about the provenance. NFTs became the talk of the town in 2017 with the release of Crypto Kitties. All right, so we're going to stop right there. And we're going to explore do NFTs have value? That's to be debated, but numbers don't lie. So first and foremost, secondly, secondly, we're going to go over to OpenSea, which is the largest NFT marketplace. So we're going to go hit Browse. We're going to browse through some of these NFTs. So uh, we hit art actually. So these are some forms of art in the forms of NFT. And as you can see, you got some cool looking stuff here. And uh, we could just click one of these things. Uh, let's click these shoes. They look pretty good. All right. I don't know this person. I'm just doing a video. So you see point one. That's pricing ETH. So this NFT point one price in ETH is worth one hundred and eighty two dollars. And to me, I think that might be a deal. And you say, why is that a deal? Well, you know, if you like the artwork, uh, the content owner grants the buyer perpetual personal use or license to view, download, display, trade, resale and copy the content. So if you like that, now let's go back. Let's check the price of something else here just to get an idea of how much I know some of these things like this seem to go for a little more 0 0.9 1800 that's pricing ETH and it gives you the USD value there so yeah you know this this is what's happening this is digital art this is NFT that folks been hearing about open C is the largest marketplace for NFT so like you know what I like to do for the channel purposes for my own purposes is uh, always go through some of these platforms and create an account and, s and set up something. So here's my NFT, my first NFT. If you don't know, I'm a children's book author, and this is a page out of my children's book where we talk about a lot of African American inventions disappear from the earth, and my main character had a dream. So this one pretty much depicts the traffic light not being there the traffic light was invented by Garrett A. Morgan so yeah this is my NFT uh, I pretty much just set it up just to see and stay abreast on what's happening in the crypto world so yeah there you have it so what is an NFT a non-fungible token the largest marketplace for NFT is OpenSea it, you have more but NFT is I mean OpenSea is the largest NFT marketplace and then you can go on and set up, you know, set up and explore. Now, you can't do none of this without MetaMask. No, you can research MetaMask on your own. All right, so moving right along with that being said, the next thing we want to talk about is digital land in video games attract NFT investors. So this is like a two-part article. We're talking about digital land and video games, three-part and NFT. All right, so the NFT craze is, extend is extending into digital real estate which is now attracting millions of dollars from the investors. In January, NFT investor Polyant Games paid 800000 for one of five kingdoms. In the unreleased role-playing game, Mirandas, the Wall Street Journal reported. A month later, a mystery group of buyers paid $1.6 for another kingdom in-game. 
in the game. So folks are buying kingdoms in these games. And someone paid 800 grand. Another mystery group paid 1.6 million. Mirandas has just 1,625 Ds. And investors are betting that demand will rise, which could help generate the in-game income tied to the token. So you're talking about in-game in -game income. So now we had a situation where a lot of these folks playing games all day. Where you tell your kid, Jimmy, get off the couch, you're playing games all day. You know, you just never know. Jimmy might have been in a situation where he's making some money. Alright, another NFT based game, The Sandbox, sold around 2.8 million worth of land just last month. The game's creator claims its digital land is worth 37 million. So, the digital land is worth 37 million. So, let's talk a little bit more. First of all, I want to talk about this post. So, Mark Cuban is opening a digital art gallery, but no one can confirm where. So, they talk about this digital art gallery that Mark Cuban is opening up. Now, this brings me to Decentraland, which is the first if I'm not mistaken, the first digital land platform on the blockchain, or maybe the first of its kind. So once again, uh, Decentraland, I created an avatar. That's me there. You can see my man, he fresh, you know. Uh, they don't give you a lot of clothes to choose from, but, you know, I managed to put together a nice outfit. And I uh, got the shades on and everything. So I'm walking around Decentraland, you know, learning the land, learning the guy. I don't have a video graphics card, so my experience is not quite all the way up to par so I'm walking around Decentraland and lo and behold I see this place in Decentraland uh, let me see if I can get my man to look around okay NFT hallway the NFT hallway is in Decentraland so someone essentially bought this land and created NFT hallway and the first thing I could think about was is this Mark Cuban uh, Mark Cuban NFT marketplace in a digital land that was spoke of well if it's not Mark Cuban it's somebody so this is a actual NFT marketplace in a digital land. So let's walk through. And you see these NFT paintings on the wall. These things are actually for sale. So as you walk by, you know, you'll see E and it asks you we want more info. Okay. Last sold for 0 0.05 ETH and it's not for sale. None of these things in here, I don't think they're for sale. I think someone bought them all just to create this. And then look at this here this sold for 180 ETH this one NFT now let's look at the price of Ethereum Ethereum is currently at $1839 someone bought this NFT for 180 ETH I'm not gonna do the math cuz you know it's not my money but it seemed like a substantial amount of money for a digital piece of art so let's cruise on down let's cruise on down here and by the way I'm, I'm literally um, advertising someone else's art and uh, marketplace but hey this is this is the crypto world so we got to learn all right e last sold for 25 ETH, and you can view these things on OpenSea, which we just talked about so there you have it folks we are walking around at the digital land this is cool and we are literally in a digital nft marketplace where we've just seen paintings go for as much as 25 ETH. Yeah, so, you know, let that wrap around your head. And uh, this is where we're going in the world. So, I'm moving through the central land. Uh, I want to buy some land here one day. Let's talk about that, too. We buy land. These are the land parcels. I believe you uh, click on one and buy one. Now, I'm not... I haven't learned exactly how to buy land yet but I wanted to still do this video and if anyone else knows how to buy land please uh, hit me up let me know if you got some land for sale give me a discount because I have some ideas and I do want to create something in Decentraland and it's gonna be cool alright alright yeah so that's where we at man so you got Decentraland and you got OpenSea which are two of the biggest things going on when it comes to digital real estate and nfts all right now let's go back a little bit and uh if you don't want to buy actual land or actual nft artwork 
it's another way you can participate in this nft market and when you go to coin gecko you click nft they always give you the nft of the day every day but in addition to that it gives you the top 100 nft coins by market capitalization and you can always get exposed to the nft or the central or digital digital land world by buying platforms that host or create those things so the top two is engine and decentraland i'm not talking about these two because they're the top two i'm talking about these two because these are the only two i knew about and they were not the top two uh they were down below but now they're the top two so you can always not financial advice get exposure to those particular technologies by actually buying some of the companies that control it all right so another thing i wanted to talk about was one of the more popular nfts and one of the more expensive nfts was unisox unisox now unisox has a 314 max supply and it actually an nft of some socks and one of them costs 91,000. Ninety-one thousand sixty-four dollars twelve cents at the moment for some NFT digital socks. And let's scroll down. Look at the all-time high. All-time high, which was in March fourth. I mean, that was this month. A hundred and sixty-four thousand and twelve dollars for some digital socks. Think about this. One year ago, those socks were forty-one dollars. So yeah, so much for the fake money. And uh, I guess if you got a buyer, then <laughs> then uh, it's real. So yeah, just to let that sink in. All right, so we're gonna move right along. Then we're gonna talk about blockchain games, chain games. And I stopped playing games a long time ago, but something came over me where I said I wanted to play some Madden. Madden, if you don't know, that's a football game. And around that same time, I came across chain game. And chain games is Let's read, read a little bit about chain games. Blockchain game of the year, Super Crypto Cart. Battle against the rest of the world with your favorite crypto projects and characters in this blockchain. Enable cart racing game available for Windows, Mac, OS, Linux, and Android. Supporting real crypto payouts for multiplayer racing. Battle mode, Rocket League, and capture the flag. Are you sure you have what it takes? So here we have a situation where real crypto payouts is going to be happening on games. And... They have Madden. Madden is in the testing that. So here I wanted to play Madden and I could potentially be able to play Madden while earning crypto on the blockchain. Fortnite coming soon. FIFA coming soon. So this is huge. In my opinion. Huge. So yeah, you want to you know check out Chain Games. It's kind of early. This is this token right here. Chain Game token. The token is a utility token. Utility meaning these tokens are being used on a particular platform. As well as the central land. The central land token is a utility token as well because that's the token that's used to purchase land on the central land. And then you can always, you know, trade it into whatever of cryptocurrency you, you would like. Alright, so yeah, let's go on to the next tab. I wanted to talk about Veracity. Veracity is a protocol and product layer platform for esports and video entertainment. So esports is huge now. We already know video entertainment. But one of the biggest things I wanted to talk about was Veracity was so Veracity was granted a US patent. I, I think this is a big thing, you know. It's not broadcast all over the world. Most big things are not. But let's talk about this. Veracity is now granted U.S. patent. Recently, Veracity officially received a notice of allowance for a U.S. patent for system and method of proof of view via blockchain. This means that Veracity proof of view is protected as unique technology and can't be copied by others for 17 years. This makes the technology much more valuable for Veracity and ensures that only Veracity will be providing it to ad networks and brands and can reap the very significant monetary benefits. Veracity is leading the pack and provide proprietary technology to uniquely reward gamers, viewers, and publishers and to protect advertisers and brands from fake views. Fake views. So uh, this is this is huge because if you know anything about the YouTube world and all these worlds, you got to get a certain amount of views and subscribers to become monetized. And fake views is a big thing. And the fake views not only promotes you to, you know, become monetized fraudulently, but it also blocks out some of the hard-working content creators who don't have that expense. So what this would do will pretty much level the playing field, so to speak. 
I, I did a little bit more research and come to find out Veracity has some type of uh, AI algorithm that can prove whether it's a bot or a human watching these videos so you know the ad guys will get essentially almost guaranteed that their ads are being watched by humans and not bots another thing I wanted to point out about this veracity is the partnerships always look for partnerships so you got YouTube twitch you can read the rest I, I really just need to see YouTube and I know how huge it is because that's that's where most of the content creators live, live until things like theta and uh, steam and some of the other blockchain things take off but this is big man so veracity and uh, let's talk let's look at veracity's uh, price It's a relatively new coin and it's two cent you know two cent a coin uh, circulating supply is not listed market cap is not listed 44 million 218,000 plus running through the 24 hour volume so you know use your own uh, discretion on this I'm not a financial advisor so like I said I'm just bringing things to the forefront for the discussion all right all right so we're gonna do a quick recap uh, so we talked about what is an NFT a non-fungible token essentially uh, a unique token all right then we talked about digital land the rumor that mark cuban has a digital art gallery so the number one digital land space is actually decentraland so i created my avatar that's me crypto bob on decentraland and we actually did walk through the nft hall <clears throat> we looked at some of the prices and everything all right then we talked chain game Chain games is an esports live esports contest, and you actually can play video games in exchange for crypto payouts. Madden, FIFA, on the way. Chain game token currently listed at seventy four. Then we have Verocity, esports platform who just acquired the U.S. patent to stop fake view. All right, yeah, so man, appreciate y'all coming in. Uh, just wanted to drop a couple jewels. I know I don't drop a lot of videos, but when I do, I really do want to bring you some uh, some value and some information that you probably haven't heard of. If you have any more information on this, drop a line. You know, say something in the comments. Yep, thanks for stopping in. See y'all on the next one. Peace.